guys, Kat here, and we're a day 19 of our warrior R challenge. We're ending this week off with some strength. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. I'll be using 10 pound and 15 pound dumbbells. Remember to use whatever weight is best for you and whatever weight allows you to do the moves correctly with good form, but challenges you. All right, let's get warmed up, roar. All right guys, nice and easy. Let's go with some back lunges. So remember to keep your chest up, sink down, and press your weight midfoot to heel. If back lunges aren't for you, you can go ahead, step it back as much as you can, especially if you have knee pain and you just can't sink down as low. That's totally okay. Another option would be to stick with some squats. All right, we'll keep it going. Keep that core strong. You can lean forward a little bit, get that booty a little bit more. Sinky, sinky. Let's go two more. Last one, and go ahead, crisscross those arms. No cardio. <laughs> it's currently 29 degrees right now, Fahrenheit, so it's a little bit chilly. I just filmed day 22 first. It's a little bit longer, otherwise if I do the reverse, I'm gonna be like, I'll just do it tomorrow. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Keep it going. Three, two, one, and go ahead, left and forward, right back, big arm circles. Getting those shoulders nice and warmed up. So many people with shoulder injuries and I wanna make sure we prevent that. Go ahead, bring it back. All the way. We're working everything today, which is awesome. Woo, and go ahead, other side. Woo, all the way around. And let's bring it back. Keep it strong, you might feel a few crinkle crackles here. That's all right. Three, two, one, as long as it's not with any pain, you're okay. All right, so sink down and kick. Sink down and kick. Pew. Try to keep your chest up as much as you can. We don't want to have that roundness in our back. We want to make sure we press our weight midfoot to heel. Pew. Sound effects are mandatory. Pew. Sink it down, bring it up, we're almost there. And go ahead, shake it shaky. Let's have our feet out wide, we're gonna sink down, side to side. We're not doing any static stretching right now. Sticking with that dynamic movement, that nice flow to warm up our muscles, get us pumped up and ready to go without the cardio. Hey, I can rhyme. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Now we're gonna sink down, try to get the butt below the knees. If this is too much, if this hurts your knees, I want you to stay down low. Now slowly your hips just side to side, working on warming up those hips, getting them ready. Yeah, makes me feel like all of them. Hello, my precious. How are you today, my children? Oh God, <laughs> I just lost 10 subscribers. All right, just kidding. Three, two, one, and straighten up the legs. Again, sink it, and then let's grab opposite side elbows. Relax your neck, here, move side to side. Again, with those hips, you can have a slight micro bend in those knees. Just let yourself hang, hang up. Should feel this in your hamstrings, calves, hips. And go ahead, bring it back to center. We're gonna slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let your neck be the last to come up. Nice and easy. Once you're up here, get your brain back to center, your blood back, and then roll up the shoulders. Big rolls. Big shoulder rolls. And we're gonna bring it forward and make this look like we don't know how to break dance. I always find this super awkward, but funny. Let's go for a three, two, one, and let's get that core warmed up. So we're gonna bring our left leg back, we're gonna twist, exhale, exhale. So you might recognize this when we do this in our standing abs workout, but with the weight. Exhale. Gotta make sure that core is nice and warm. And go ahead and switch. Pew, pew. Again, sound effects are mandatory. It always took me the longest time to be like, which one's mandatory, which one's non-mandatory, and which one's fiction, and which one's non-fiction. 
connection. It's always so confusing. Let's go one more and shake it out. We're almost ready. Let's go ahead with some side lunges. Get that form down here and now. Step it back, or sorry, step to the side. Push your butt back, sink down, stay on the same leg. Really think about keeping your chest up. Both feet are planted on the ground. This leg stays straight while this leg bends. Pushing your weight back towards your butt. We don't want to push it forward and making um, too much pressure, giving too much pressure on your knees. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. And I know I'm going to get comments about this. My, le my uh, leggings are from Lululemon. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but just want to let you know now. <laughs> Lulu. Let's go a few more on this side. One more. And go ahead, little butt kicks, butt kick in. All right, from here, what I want you to do is shake it, dance it out, do whatever you gotta do, do what you gotta do, do what you gotta do. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Arr. 10 seconds, I'm gonna grab your 15, leaving front curtsy. So from here, I'm gonna take that dumbbell in my right hand, we're gonna step forward instead of in back, like a normal curtsy that we do. So step forward, toes facing slightly to the left, you're gonna sink down, come back, press. So I'm actually gonna keep my weight here, sorry about that. <laughs> Good start, cat, and press. So sink down like you're holding a tray, bring it up, and then press. Woo! If this doesn't agree with your knees, what I want you to do is stick with those side lunges instead. Okay, side lunges like we did in our warm up, and you can still add the press in. Stay on the same side. Exhale up, inhale down. When we do these presses, really working the anterior front of that shoulder. You should feel it in your glutes when we do the curtsy and also in the quads. Sink down, bring it up, movement, baby. Movement. All right, so next up, we're going to stabilize again on our right and we're going to do a single leg deadlift with a hammer curl. Same, same arm and everything. So, back is flat. Slight micro bend in that stabilized leg. Bring it up, curl. What a hammer curl is, it just means your palm is facing towards uh, over there. <laughs> I'm like, it's towards the leg, but if you go like this, it's also towards the leg. So, you just want to act like you're holding a hammer. If you can't do a deadlift, you can step back slightly, keep most of the weight in that front leg. Notice how my back is still flat. I have a slight bend in this stabilized leg. Bring it up, and you should feel like a stretch, um, whether you're modifying or not, in the back of that leg. So that is, that is fun, right? <laughs> That's that hamstring. Ooh, burr. All right, so we're gonna go on the other side now. Front curtsy to a press. Now we're gonna have your dumbbell up here because I sure as heck didn't remember the first time. But now I do. Sometimes I write these workouts, you know, a few days beforehand. And I'm like, yeah, I hope she remembers. I hope my future self remembers what this means. <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I have to make it up on the spot. <laughs> but it's still effective. And sometimes I make something that's way better than what I had planned previously. So that's cool. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Press, keep it up guys. Sink it down, bring it up, and press. One side might be a little bit more challenging, especially with like the press. I find this side is a little bit weaker for me. So, excuse me, I hate the work. So I find that um, it's a little bit more challenging, and that's okay. Okay, so single leg deadlift and hammer curl, this time the other leg. So I'm gonna stabilize on my left leg, modify if you need to, because this side, again, might be different. Um, so you gotta listen to your body. Keep your chest up. Slight micro bend in that knee. Bring it up and curl. And another thing about that curl, make sure that elbow is behind you. So we don't want it here. We want to roll the shoulder blades back and down and curl. Curl with intention. Curl with meaning. Get that bicep working. Woo! And curl. Nice job, guys. Sink it down. We are doing so amazing. How do we get to be so amazing? I don't know. I really don't know. Finish it out. 10 seconds, guys. Curl. Ooh, I'm hungry. <laughs> it hit me. It hit me. Three, two, one. That mid-workout hunger. All right, so in and out curls. 
I'm gonna grab my other 15, roll your shoulder blades back and down, keep your core strong. So, regular curl, control it, then turn it out to get those inner parts of the bicep, and then come back. So, regular, getting both pads, turn, getting the inner part of that bicep. I like to stagger my feet, gives me more stability. If you need to do one dumbbell at a time, that's okay. If this isn't working out, I want you to use lighter weights. Exhale up, inhale down, keep that control on the way up and down, because be strong. We have a really fun movement next. <laughs> it's just body weight, and it's gonna be great. Don't worry, I get modifications. Alright, one more and then I'll switch the camera. Squat 
twist, one twist. Yeah, one twist. So I'm gonna grab one dumbbell. We're gonna squat. So squat down, knee up and twist. Squat down, knee up and twist. So I bet that was super challenging for you guys. Maybe. <laughs> Let me know how you like that move. If you guys like me adding movements like that in our workouts, it's something to um, work towards too. So if you don't get it down right away, instead of beating yourself up, be like, yeah, I, can't. I can't do that. Then do a modification and work towards it. Have it something be a have it be a goal, performance goal. Super important to have. Super rewarding. And woo, 10 seconds. We are working on the lateral parts of those shoulders. So the side parts, those calves. We've already done both these moves in our challenge. We're just combining them. So side raise, then you're gonna bend. So I guess you're gonna do a little hammer curl. And then bend arm raise. Side raise, half hammer curl, bring it up. Side raise, just making it interesting. Bring it up, keep your core strong. Make sure that you're hinging from those um, shoulders. So that way when you bring it up, that arm is at 90 degrees, okay? Bring it up, curl, half curl, bring it down. Oh yeah, this is definitely, definitely an awesome shoulder burn. Um, watch your traps. So it's right by your neck, right here. Make sure you're not um, engaging them. We don't want to stress out any muscles we don't need to. All right, so squat thrusters are next. I'm gonna stick with these tens. I feel good about these tens right now. <laughs> um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna have your dumbbells here. You're gonna sink down, power through, press. So, sink down, press. So you're pressing them as you come up. You wanna also squeeze your butt. It is a thruster. So we're thrusting, <laughs> gosh, that sounds awful, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bring it up. But that is legit what it's called. So, like you're squeezing for a kettlebell swing, sink down, whew, squeeze your butt. Ten seconds, or sorry, twenty seconds. Whew. Oh yeah. Whew. After this again, movement, baby. <laughs> if you've been following me on Instagram, I wrote that we are going to be adding longer workouts with more movement, and I'm giving it. All right. If you can't do this move, what I want you to do is you're going to do a push-up and then you're going to drive your knees to the outside of that leg. So if you can, you're going to walk the leg forward from here, push-up. Walk the leg forward, push-up. Keep that neck neutral, push-up. Super weird, super fun. Give it a try. Be open-minded to new movement, new ways to move your body. New ways to challenge yourself. No one cares what you look like. And if they do, that's on them, not on you. You are improving yourself, making yourself stronger, working your body, and challenging it in different ways. Whew. Woo! <laughs> oh, baby. Yes. 
and then next week, I promise you, is going to be really a lot more challenging and still very fun. And we're going to have longer workouts. I just filmed again the day 22, 45 minutes long, 50 second intervals, cardio, and strength and abs. So it's everything. Whew. Row towards that hip. Keep squeezing. Keep it up, guys. So fun. We're going to be working our hamstrings after this. We've already done quite a bit of quads, so we want to make sure we get the back of those legs, too. Back is nice and flat. Keep going, guys. Row. Rowing. We're rowing. You have five moves after this. Okay. So, deadlift and hammer curl. You can always repeat this workout after we're done if you want a little bit more. If you want to use heavier weights, second time around. Feet are close together. Lean forward. Bend the knees slightly. Back is flat. Come up. Squeeze your um, chest. Or sorry. Squeeze your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push your butt back. Back is flat. Stop. You don't have to reach the ground. And don't forget the added bonus of squeezing that upper back at the top. Those shoulder blades together. All the way, all the way, squeeze your core, and curl. Yay, 10 seconds, guys. We're almost there. Getting that nice stretch for our hamstrings. Curl, control that weight on the way down, and done. All right, so, ooh, sorry. Sorry about this next one. I'm not. Okay, so again, keep an open mind. You're going to come here. Bring your hands over, you're going to jump. Try to have this foot in line. So that outside foot, when you jump, is going to be in line with that outside hand. And go the other way. Oh yeah. Oh, this is fun. This is so fun. Keep it up. Try to keep your feet separated. When we first did this in my workouts, I'm pretty sure my feet were close together. So let's try this version. Oh yeah. Those quads are going to be burning. Those shoulders are also going to feel it. Oh, up and down. All right. Ooh, leg climb. All right. Come on, down to the ground. Back is flat. We're going to bring one leg up. The other leg is hovering. You're going to climb up. Bring it down. Now, when you bring it down, you always want to keep tension. So your ending point is here, not down here. Ending point here, climb it, bring it down. Climb it, and bring it down. We're only climbing a little bit. If this is too much, bend this knee. Climb up, climb down. Climb up, climb down. You just want to think about pressing belly button into the floor. Woo! Keep going. Really bring that, bring that belly button in. Bring those lower abs in. Keep going. Arr. Ooh, this is challenging. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, we have to do the other side. And then we only have one more move after this. So it's just like, might as well just like keep going, you know? Like, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're so silly. So silly. All the way up. All the way down. We are so close to finishing. So, just keep going. Just keep swimming. Swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Ha 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 ha. Alright. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Keep going. I'm telling you, it's the weirdest thing to hear your own voice. I was editing one of my videos. In the background, I hear my voice again, and I'm like, wait, what? My boyfriend was watching one of my workouts, <laughs> wasn't doing it, and I'm like, no, I don't want to hear this. 
I'm okay with editing, but <laughs> it's just funny. Spoiler alert back, reverse crunch, drop one leg. Reverse, drop one leg. Again, press belly button into the floor. If this is too much, bend the knees, press your butt off the ground. All the way, guys. Finish it out. Bring it up straight towards the ceiling with intention. Thinking about pressing belly button thoroughly into the ground. Pop. If you want to bring your hem shoulders down to the ground, that's okay too. We are cooling down after this, unless you want to do this workout again. Yeah. so much and yeah thank you for joining me so let's cool down all right guys so go ahead we're going to take our left leg drop it in front so it's horizontal to us and then we take your other leg bring it back now if you're going to turn to your left if this is good enough you can stay here if you want a deeper stretch come down to the forearms and breathe I hope you guys tried out those new movements. Remember, you can always practice them outside of workouts. You can rewind this video, try them again. It's just fun. Just try something new, move your body. It's very, very cool, very animalistic. Go ahead. If you want a deeper stretch, you're gonna plant that weight in the left hand. Push your hips up, reach behind you. Breathe here. And go ahead, slowly come down. We're gonna switch. One side might be tighter, this side I find my hips up higher. So just keep that in mind. And then come down if you want to. Breathe, breathe here. And if you want that deeper stretch, go ahead, plant that right hand, and then press your hips up. Breathe here. And slowly bring it down. Nice job. All right, let's bring bottoms of the feet together into a butterfly. We don't have to flutter away though, so you just stay here. If you have like a wall, an empty wall behind you, you have a wall. I hope you have a wall. Um, oh, there's a thing there. All right, um, you can always flatten your back and back of it, and then press your knees down. That's gonna help you get an even deeper stretch. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, it's like you feel zen, but you're also in pain. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> that's the slogan for yoga. All right, and go ahead, bring it together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come onto our backs. Oh, this is not our backs, this is our fronts. On the fronts, hands by the chest, press up, and then sit back in child's pose, relax your neck, press the palms to the ground. Walk your hands over to the right. Bring it back to center. Over to the left. Bring it back to center. And let's shift that weight forward. Do a few hip swivels. Get those hips all nice. And other way. Whee! Going in that circle. Nice little circle. And nice job. Let's go ahead and bring the hands back. Curl the toes underneath, push those hips back. Let's get the hamstrings here. So we're gonna bend that right knee, walk over to the left, keep relaxing your neck. You should feel us all on the left side. Go ahead, bring it back to center, other side. Make sure that left knee is bent down. Ah, oh, there's hair. Phew. <laughs> And bring it back to center, and uh, you can have a slight bend in the knee. You're going to roll up one vertebra at a time. Let your neck be the last thing to come up. Take a big breath. Let that blood get back to that head. 
or sorry, back to the rest of your body. Breathe, roll out the shoulders, do crinkle crackles here. Ooh. Left arm across the bottom, and pull over that left shoulder. After this, we'll stay on the side and do the triceps. Shake it out on our same side. Try to keep your chest up, your head up. Chest open, head up. Shake it out, other side. Wait, oh, other side of this one, the elephant trunk, as I like to call it. <laughs> yep, that's me. This elephant trunk. Shake it out, other side, or same side. Wow. <sighs> okay. Oh, Keep breathing. Shake it out. All right, guys, last one, class in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. Exhale, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done with today. Arr, arr. We did it. You guys did it. We completed day 19 of our Warrior Art Challenge. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please do like this video before you go. Thank you. And also share it with your friends, family, on Facebook, Twitter, etc. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know how you're doing in this challenge. What movie is your favorite today? Ah, uh, yeah. Remember, next week is going to get even crazier and even more fun. If you guys are really enjoying this series and you're loving it and you're loving working out with me and everything like that, if you do want to support my channel, the link is down below in my description. It helps out so much. So thank you guys. All right, I will see you guys next week for day 22. Remember, the next two days are rest days. So those are for low impact, for working on mobility, stability, uh, flexibility going for a walk. Just keep on moving your body, but give it a rest at the same time. All right. I hope you have an amazing day. Roar.